we've decided to kind of do a video for uh, for all of you out there who who maybe are first time you know campers. I'm sure there's tons of these videos. Here's ours. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Travis with our lively truck. Man, Aaron's not here. <laughs> so um, we thought we would do a video um, of the top 10 things you would need if you're a first time RVer setting up a rig. We've started realizing that most of our clients are completely new to, to traveling in a travel trailer or camping in a travel trailer. So we started, um, as it's kind of gone on, we started putting together all of the things our clients would need to, to get out in their trailer instantly, right away. So we started putting together this bundle pack of, of items that um, we've been putting in the, the last few rigs we finished up. Let's start with the super basic stuff. You're going to need a water hose. Now this isn't any hose, it has to be one that's used for portable water. Um, so you're going to want one of these that is separate from your other hose. <laughs> so you're going to have two hoses, one for your water strictly, for strictly drinking water. The other one is going to be for washing out the pooper. So fun, right? Um, yeah, so this separate hose, keep them completely separate. You don't want bacteria crossing over. But this one's in case you have to flush out the crapper or uh, you know, wash out something that you just don't want uh, the drinking water to touch. So two separate hoses, totally important. Boom. Let's move on to another thing that is crazy important is a very small tool kit. Um, just enough stuff to get you by but this will come in super handy being in a rig. You never know when a water line is going to start leaking or you're going to have to adjust uh, you know, the slide, all sorts of things. So a small practical tool kit is a must in these rigs. So there's that bad boy. These are kind of like lifts for in case you're in some place that's very off balanced or uh, unlevel. These are leveling blocks. Um, so practical. Everyone needs them. Um, get yourself a, a, you know, some of these for sure. Sit those over there. Move on to the next guy. Oh, here's here's something that most people probably wouldn't even think about. A set of fuses. Now trailers use a larger size fuse. Um, if I could ever get one out, there we go. So they use a larger size fuse. So be sure and purchase yourself a set of fuses. Um, you never know when one's gonna go out on you. Super important to have. See what else is in the goodie box. Stuff for the pooper. <laughs> what? <laughs> but so this stuff's super essential for your toilets. You're gonna want to have this on hand to put in your black tank, keep it from smelling. It breaks up the poop more and the toilet paper. So good stuff to have on hand. Every trailer owner should have it. Uh, let's move on to a water filtering system. And this is something that after we'd spent some time on the road and realized that a lot of trailer parks don't have the greatest water at all. Uh, we started adding this to all of our rigs and boy has it made a difference. Um, you feel cleaner in the water and the shower coming out. Um, I still wouldn't recommend drinking everything from your tanks. We typically either you know carry Arrowhead bottles or we use Berkey filters but as far as showering and washing dishes and everything this is a, a perfect thing to have with you. Um, so how you use it, it attaches, it comes with an attachment that attaches directly from the faucet and then you attach your hose onto this. So Aaron will film me installing one on ours because we need to replace ours and uh, so we'll get that in there so you can see how that works. But these are great essentials to have on hand also. Um, okay, 
So what we have here, it's a 15 amp to a 30 amp connection. So you're able to use a regular 110 outlet and it can connect to your 30 amp outlet that's on your travel trailer. So you're able to plug into the wall, something uh, simple like that. These are super important to have with you in case you run into a place that doesn't have a 30 amp plug and you still need to get power to your rig. So having one of these is essential also. I feel like I've said that word a lot. The goodie box is done. Now we'll move on to the, to the best one of all. <laughs> so you'll need one of these. It's a poo pose. Everyone has one. It attaches and it's for draining out your black tank, your gray tank. Um, so, and we keep ours separate in its own container. That's the only thing in there that all the bacteria and disgustingness that comes along with the poop hose is kept separate from everything else that you're going to be using. So that's why we have it in this separate kit all together. Um, we, this one is a pretty short one. I recommend getting one that's, you know, a pretty good length because you never know at your campsite how far away the drain is going to be from your rig. Um, so it's good to have one, you know, that's like 30 feet or maybe one that has two connecting pieces that are each 15 feet. Um, but you're going to need one of those. So, so yeah, I think uh, last thing that we'll talk about is the stabilizer jacks. And these are something that we haven't used. We've usually just used uh, simple plastic chocks that keep the trailer from moving. So Epo Artists reached out to us and sent us these amazing stabilizer jacks. We have not used anything like these before. And I was so impressed by the simplicity of them that, it, it, um, that I, I love to talk about them because we use it, man. So it simply goes in between your two wheels and then this thing cranks it open. And it stabilizes them, keeps them from shaking back and forth. The rig felt better using these than the regular chocks, and it comes with a super perfect, simple ratchet um, that goes right on top, and you can tighten it and loosen it. Um, I was so impressed by this product, so I would highly recommend looking at, into getting yourselves a, a pair of these, um, and you can be set up anywhere, so they're great, man. A link for these will be added below, so you can go and check out those if you'd like to. I think that's it. I think this really covers the basics uh, on what you'll, you'll need to get out there and, and start enjoying camping. So all of these products will be listed on our Amazon storefront page that's below. And um, all of them will be there. Check them out. You're able to order them right from there. And, uh, and yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching. So good luck and uh, have fun.